Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, just got a massive update. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, the menu system you see behind me here is not running off of a PS3. This is running through RPCS3. The development team was able to get this menu system for the most part up and running, and this is massive. Now admittedly here, the dev team still has a bit of a ways to go because you can't launch games through this menu system just yet, and a lot of these features don't quite work. But if we look at the system information here, I'm going to System Settings, System Information, you can see I'm using the latest system software, version 4.88 and apparently this will work with a bunch of different firmware out there. Now at this point in time, there's not a whole lot we can do in here just yet, but you can fiddle around with a few things. You can change display settings. Uh, you can't change your theme just yet, but you can change the theme color, and that works without issue. To check this out yourself, make sure you've got the latest and greatest version of RPCS3. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. At the time of filming here, it's version 0.0.20. Next up here, you will need some sort of official PlayStation software. Fortunately though, you can pick it up directly from PlayStation's website, and it's 100% free. In this video, I used version 4.88. I'll drop a link to this page in the description below. Feel free to pick it up if you want. Uh, all you have to do is click the download for PS3 update. If it doesn't work for you, just right click and then click save link as and that should be fine. If by chance from here you need a full tutorial on how to get up and running with our PCS3, I've got you covered and I'll leave a link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. If you're familiar with RPCS3, you have your firmware installed and you're ready to go here. Just click on boot VSH and XMB. The first time you launch this will probably take a bit of time to get up and running. For me, it was sitting on rebuilding database for quite a while. Then it went to 100% and the entire thing just went to a black screen. I closed out of it, I relaunched it, and I was good to go. The second boot here was far more successful. I was happy to see the Sony logo. And from here, there are a few steps you have to do. When it says an available HDMI device was detected and it asks you if you want to output video and audio using HDMI, select no. Once you've made it through that, you'll see the system start to go into the main menu. And then it'll ask you again, do you want to set it up for HDMI? Once you see this screen here, just say no. After that, for me at least, I had my menu system freeze and not progress, so I had to close it and reboot it. It let me know the system was not turned off properly. From here, I just hit the back button to exit out of it. Now, for the first time in the main menu here, you can see things don't necessarily look the best. It's in a 4-3 ratio, and the resolution doesn't look good at all. But fortunately, this is a very easy fix. Go into the settings menu and scroll down to where it says display. From here, select video output settings, then scroll up to where it says component and D terminal and click on it. Make sure to click yes to accept the setting and then you have the option to fix the resolution. For example here, setting it to 1080p will change the resolution to make this thing look a heck of a lot nicer. And from there, you're pretty much good to go. You can fiddle around in the menu system and have some fun. Now, fortunately here, you don't have to reconfigure everything every time you launch VSH XMB. It remembers it and everything is set up for you and ready to go. At the end of the day here, I think this update is huge for our PCS3 and I think it's a massive breakthrough. I mean, to have the main menu of the PlayStation 3 successfully emulated really adds to the overall experience and also unlocks a ton of potential. Anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Are you excited about it? Are you going to test it out or have you already tested it out possibly in an earlier build? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.